In the second episode of our monthly series, we are featuring Leo Burnett, one of the creative agencies from the House of Publicis Group in India. The agency works with a host of advertisers and interestingly, the list includes popular internet businesses such as Spotify, Ola, Twitter, besides youth brands such as MTV, PNG Shiksha and HDFC Life among others. The whole idea is to build a new age agency, uh, right? And uh, the whole idea with Leo Burnett is to change uh, the quality and temperature of work, make sure there's world class. So the benchmark that we are going for are creating ideas which come from say data or ideas which come from technology. I'm not even talking digital, right? Technology. How can we get insight embedded in the product? If you look at the Bajaj V example, it's an insight embedded in the product. The marketing idea is in the product. So the idea is to solve client business problems uh, using materials which are not classical advertising materials like words and images using data, technology, branded utility uh, and so on and so forth and that's really the core of, of where uh, the transition comes from. One of the biggest transitions you need to make is in the quality of people, uh, right? Uh, for last two decades I think we've suffocated advertising of good quality talent and then we are saying that our work sucks. It sucks because garbage in, garbage out. So one of our biggest initiatives has been on talent. So we now run an undergraduate program where we are uh, hiring from LSR, SRCC, uh, you know, Ahsoka University, Christchurch, etc. Then we run a post-grad program where we are uh, hiring from uh, MICA, IIT, uh, you know, NID and so on and so forth. And we don't hire in five or six, we had 30, 40. Uh, uh, in bunch. Traditionally in advertising we've hid the young people behind, right? So they are young, they need to be under the wings for five years before we expose them to client, etc. In our agency, it's all uh, young focus, right? So the young people, they are running businesses, they are running pitches, they are winning. And the, the third thing is culture. I mean, how do you build a culture which is extremely collaborative, uh, where people do their bit, but they put their ego uh, outside in the room and allow their idea to be mutated by 100 people for it to become sexy. So those are the three big shifts. One is the, the way we look at work. Second is input talent. And third is the culture of the organization. For Leo Burnett, it's challenging times like current times force it to think out of the box and create solutions that are one of its kinds. From following multi-pronged strategy, which includes bringing platform specific, today the agency works on long and short-term goals defined by its clients. This includes both consolidations of a brand's position among its target group, as well as creating return on investment driven solutions. Clients are not telling us now, uh, give me a TVC. By the way, they are not asking for ROI also. So, give me a solution now. Yes, it's simple like this, give me a solution now. Now when you're talking, give me a solution now because the consumers are wanting, give me things now. If you don't have it, if you have a downturn, downtime for any of our app, you're out of the market. The next guy is in. It's exactly the same thing. So we are building things for now. For them, the solution for five years is gone. Yeah. Right? They're looking at, give me something now. If you're giving something now, because if I survive this month, I will look at the next month. If I survive next month, I'm looking at the next month. And that is what the ROI driven brands are now. Yeah. For that, what we are looking at, whatever solution we are creating, not content or anything, it's everything, content, solution, or brand platform and everything, that's going to work now. Not for, at the same time, clients are talking to us saying, what can we build for tomorrow? Can you give us something for like, a uh, lot of brands you're working on, like uh, we have a couple of divisions that are working on, like Apollo 11, you must have heard of it. Uh, we are building things, what is going to be tomorrow for the client solution, sir. So one of the biggest clients we recently acquired, the biggest thing is, okay, yes, have come to culture and tell me what is going to happen every six months. So can we change our business model or creative model based on that? So it's ROI now. Don't give me one film in one year. Give me 365 film for 365 days. So if I talk about 365 films, 365 days, it also increases the cost, the investment from the client side and your cost as an agency also, right? Then when you start playing a game of growth, is it a growth through volume or value that we're looking at? Uh, I wouldn't say that the option is between volume or value, right? What What is the opportunity today is that what, you know, they're called out as the newer touch points, the newer interaction points, right? 
the opportunity is that those come at a much lesser investment value also right no longer are those days where we've got to just invest in the just a bigger t tvc kind of thing right today content is much faster much cheaper what we are actually doing is creating experiences right creating experiences through acts creating experiences through every interaction point creating experiences to owning context right which is what is today's day and age solution providing agency right you deep dive into data but you come out with stuff which we feel is business solving not just solving a you know brief which is a comms brief that's the fun part so therefore i would go back to say that the good part is that we can experiment get in try something out and come back if something works you know you can you know scale it up all the more so that that gives a good balance of volume value right we had this vision 5 years back but the consistency is what i am really proud of right overall we've achieved consistency in 5 years uh if you look at the work that we've done recently on spotify also in one year you've got a spread of work right there is data there is mass media that is there right so that's the good part of you know volume value both come together right the agency which acknowledges the times have changed for the advertising while still keeps creativity at the heart of its campaign much of the decision making is driven by data more importantly data at times also draws attention to issues that might have missed the queue i think we are being able to use data because when uh, raj and i are sitting or raj akesh and i are sitting and we're saying okay you know 90% of this audience wakes up and the first thing they do is linkedin and then we're saying okay what is the idea we can crack around this car brand and linkedin and we are brainstorming that and we are doing that right when credit people are sitting in a in a brainstorm saying what's the data we have right so when you when you turn the culture around and when credit begins to ask for data when account manager is saying what's the data that i can build around then the data function becomes uh, valuable now coming to it, so we do have a a data center of excellence which decides out of digitas which is our uh, data backbone company uh, those resources are paid for by by leo burnett in part uh, right and and we have all this so we have gwi we have listening tools we have a lot of uh, sector specific data that we are pulling back uh, and it has had huge amount of impact so earlier when i grew up being a strategist all that we had was to map culture right yeah. to see how india's use ali and all all that kind of stuff that planners used to talk about but today you have 400 million people on mobile phones we have data to the point of one right so today all our data uh, strategy thinking is either backed up or starts with data so that's one end of funnel where we using data then when you go down to saying how do these ideas come alive in the earlier model you said oh this is a core idea now i will do 360 360 is dead right we are taking the narrative of the brand and we are seeping it through the mediums so the way a brand will behave on tiktok will be different from the way it will behave on linkedin and all the journey is data led so at the beginning at a strategy level and at the downstream level amplifying the brand narrative is all data driven in our system we're looking at the mediums very very clearly for instance if for instance let's talk about uh, a 24 years old guy and that is our target audience we're talking about so all the data is what are the touch point he is using and what point what we say and how we say maybe i'm telling you given an example like we recently must have seen the uh, facebook thumb shop yeah. was coming out it is simple like this and uh, i was uh, when i was talking to the team i said look at it when i'm making my phone horizontal that means i have time to watch it when i'm in vertical that means i have just 5 seconds to just scroll it if i'm scrolling 90 meters of 90 meters of what you scrolls i'm doing every day so you have to think of your data based on your data point what the creative is going to be It's not 360. What he said, 360 is not anymore. Yeah. If you are putting a billboard and expecting me to see it when I'm watching a phone, yeah. no, I, I, you miss my billboard. The billboard is gone. Your 10 lakhs or 20 lakhs is gone for that day. But instead of that, if you are planning for that, that guy is getting up in the morning. So let me see. He's an Instagram guy. He watches Instagram so much and so much. So let's have a story in Instagram. Now think of it. He saw something in Instagram. Now let me tell the second phase of it because we have seen Instagram A B C of it. So let me tell the D of it in some other medium. E of it in some other medium. f of it goes on till the this is the point z when the purchase happened now i'm actually going through data by data point by point in this life cycle to touch him go from seeing the product to buying the product not only stop there what about his what do you call that he he uses the product what is going to do after that even talking about us or not about the product now you have to think everything based on that so you have to think 
his behavior about how he's consuming mediums that is more important what medium he's using and what point of the day he's using that medium all data points so if you ask me data first so in this era when the client is continuously looking for solutions like you yourself have said how difficult is to retain a long term relationship because i see businesses moving out of agencies i think one month three month a quarter and because there aren't any results so how do you deliver result and maintain those relationships i think the entire thing that we spoke about being more solution oriented agency is the key right for partnerships to hold to uh, and that's what we've actually ensured that you know we've got legend brands we are continuing our relationships which are strong and also at the same point of time you know the new age brands like consumer tech is a very strong category that we have and we've got a wide spread of those brands now right so i would say you know the way to hold relations is by actually deep diving into business and ensuring that we are providing solutions which are today's day and age right which is what we in a way thought that you know we foreseen and wave three which we call is right you know that's what we've got to actually act on the good part about the entire wave three is that uh, it, it is so diverse that there is no formula like wave one of cultural reading which is you know look at culture and then create comms which are hindi oriented right here there is so much of diversity so dynamic that you've got all the tools that we are putting together to create newer things right in this year itself it's not like a formula that i've done in one one brand replicated to the other right so that's what is exciting and the moment all clients you know our success has been phenomenal because of the partnerships that we've had right all the cases that we've done is because of the partnerships the clients are actually brave and waiting for new age solutions to happen it's for us to go out and experiment try things with them Leo Burnett is aware that gone are the days of traditional advertising or one solution that fits all. Hence, the team now creates a solution that transcends across screens and devices. Every brief is different and so is every problem. The teams including creative, strategy and planning come together to work on solutions that are driven by data and yield. I think mean, it's a it's a mix, uh, uh, right? It's it's not that TV is dead. Yeah. right it's not that print is nothing is yet in fact india is an and country right i mean we live with everything simultaneously uh, and and advertising is not dead either so so i think everything is there <laughs> everything is there everything is thriving uh, right in fact if you look at our portfolio of work if you look at bajaj v if you look at roads that honk if you look at uh, spotify the new age but we managed to build work uh, which is ad driven technology driven data driven across the repertoire of brands for hdfc bank hdfc life bajaj spotify amazon i think it's our the problem is that creative and clients have resided in two silos for long right i have this sexy idea but does it solve a client problem and there's always been a gap on that what we do is that we start with a business problem right so if you have a business problem and you're solving that in a very very exciting creative way there is no reason why it will it won't get solved or or sold so we have all kinds of clients asking us for innovative new age ideas we don't see a difference between in fact we've done a lot of tv work for amazon right it is the other way we've done a lot of tv work for car dekho we've done ad driven work for hdfc life and uh, bajaj so it's about how are you solving the business problem that's all that matters See, the consumers are changing and to talk to them you have to figure out a new way to talk to them and most importantly what you are looking at is creating platforms it's for a bad example if you are if you are selling a car don't sell me a car give me the ecosystem for that right there was a time if you have a car with the biggest mileage you used to buy those cars right or the strongest car now you're looking what is your service tell me how what is your uh, what do you call the mechanic thing what what is your roadside assistance tell me are you giving me resale value to the car after 5 years can i sell you back ecosystem for the financial everything you are looking at an entire ecosystem for every brand that is building it up right every brand from a car turning into financial brand now things are changing and now looking at the app saying that where the car is tell me where the car is everyone is building the brand around them the ecosystem around them because consumers want those things from an agency perspective it's easy to swing the blame on the client yeah right uh, the trend is traditional not buying good ideas but we need to step a bit further and understand the client's ecosystem as well right it's not yeah. easy running marketing as a function on a client yeah. side you have they have their own clients as well they are responsible for the budget that they are spending that the moment you begin to look at it 
from that perspective the moment you call your client in the evening and ask them how was the day right did you did you make the mark that uh, in terms of sales that you did i think the agency ecosystem the way we think will also change the agency follows the group mantra of power of one and is now building expertise in areas such as data analytics and machine learning to be future ready and i like the advertising penchant i think growth is very very important best creativity happened in the most uh, prosperous times uh, right so so we chase growth uh, with with no uh, you know uh, lack of uh, this thing at all so we chase work and we chase growth shamelessly uh, at my level at rajesh level as at rakesh's level so revenue is important that's the reason we are so uh, doing well on work as well also you know uh, growth as he is calling out right growth focus for us is the formula for us is basically people product profit right in this order yep. growing people giving them more you know empowering them giving them more freedom new age wave 3 giving is growth for people yep. center focus which is the most critical thing is product right growth of our work benchmark of work the north star right which is what we've got to achieve and for sure revenue will follow right and and honestly in the last 5 years we've had a fabulous run yeah, uh, when it comes cycle, to right? what you were what they're saying is a cycle simple we got great people the mutants we talked about the people with a new age thinking the work is that shows what kind of work they have they believe in and that kind of work gets more clients and more clients give us more money to get hire more for those people to create more those kind of work yeah and that's it so it's a cycle yeah. if you break anything everything falls if i break people product will not happen product is not there client are not there so it's if a client are not there we can't get more people it's like that it's a cycle for us mm-hmm.